For all you guys out there that were writing me, telling me, oh, ham radio's dead, why do you do such an archaic thing? You know, don't you know that this is the age of cell phones? Well, guess what, guys? Where I'm at right now, this ain't working. The wireless ain't working, no internet, and no phone service. That thing is a brick. I can maybe use it to read a few things and use it as a level, so it does have some useful tools. But I'll tell you what, I've been able to communicate with my friends on the radio. When shit hits the fan, this is going to be the only way you're going to be able to communicate over any kind of a distance. Because in, in a major emergency, this thing is a brick. And I don't care if you're on AT&T or Verizon or Sprint or whatever network you're on, they're going to shut those things down or they're, they're just not going to work. And you're going to be left with something like this. Now, granted, yeah, you can have an EMP event and that could take this thing out if it's in the open, but if you protect it and you put it in an EMP proof bag uh, or a Faraday cage, as it were, uh, you probably will still be able to use the thing. This is working when everything else isn't. And you know, honestly, yeah, in a little bit, I'm going to be down at the beach. I'm going to be enjoying myself. We're going for a motorcycle ride. Hey, I don't care. I'm on vacation. If you haven't made up your mind on a QRP rig, check out this video up here. The batteries that I've used here uh, in my box range from a standard motorcycle battery that you could pick up at Napa Auto or, or O'Reilly's, anywhere uh, that sells little 12 volt batteries. And I happen to have this uh, topper on this one that has power pole connectors. And for those of you that hate power poles, go watch a cat video. My latest one here is this uh, brand new QRP Ranger. This is from Harden Power Systems. Again, this is another one. Uh, this is actually a very, very cool little, uh, little LiPo 4 battery pack. It's a little bit bigger footprint than what I would have wanted for my, uh, for my QRP box. It's, um, it's a little bit, well, it's quite a bit lighter actually than the motorcycle battery, although it doesn't fit in as nicely as the motorcycle battery does uh, into my box. This is, uh, this is definitely gonna take some more uh, uh, moving around in my box to get this thing to fit. But uh, I am really, really impressed. I have been running now uh, straight for about an hour. It's drawing, it, it shows me over here what my, uh, what my amps are. And right now it is drawing 2.1 amps. And let's see. K6 UDA, K6 UDA. Testing, testing. Okay, so at 15 watts of power, which I'm putting out now, it's drawing 1.7 amps on transmit. 1.7 at 15 watts, guys. Let's just do this. Let's just go down to five watts. We'll go down to five watts here and, uh, and we'll see what this thing is gonna do. Okay, six UDA, Kilo six, uniform Delta Alpha, QRP uh, testing. Okay, at its peak there, uh, the meter was drawing one amp. One amp uh, at five watts, 1.7 amps at 15 watts. And it's 0.21 amps on receive. The battery, the voltage on this thing has not dropped. It is at 
It has been at 13.1 for about the past hour or so, and I've been playing around on the radio. Uh, it is, it's really heavy duty. The thing is built very well. Uh, like everything I've gotten from, uh, from Bill over at Harden Power Systems. Uh, it has the, the little uh, flip out here. It has the, a bungee cord you could stick. If you've got an 817, it'll fit right on the top and you could put them together. Uh, you could do the same thing with the KX3 and you could stick it on top, basically build these into, into kind of one solid unit. I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, it has an on off switch, an amp meter uh, that shows your draw, your immediate draw, your voltage. It shows uh, the battery power. Power poles on the front, power poles here on the back, and the charging port here on the back. And you can actually, they've built this so you could stick, uh, plug in a, uh, a solar panel right to the back of this thing and charge this up. So during the day, you can basically have free power and keep this thing going uh, for days on end if you want to. So it's a pretty good, uh, it's a, actually it's a very nice little system. My biggest bitch about it, and because this is kind of, uh, I kind of got one of the first ones of this new production run here where they were trying some stuff. Um, it seemed to have, it seemed to overcharge. I left the thing plugged in in the motorhome overnight. When I came out, um, or when I got up in the morning, I turned it on and it was at like 18 volts. It quickly uh, bled itself down when I left it on, uh, just sitting there. It quickly bled itself down to about 13 and a half volts within about 10 minutes, but. I wasn't real happy about the fact that, you know, leaving it plugged in, it, uh, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to have a circuit, an overcharging uh, protection circuit. Uh, so I will call Bill about that and, and talk to him. But other, other than that, this thing has been performing flawlessly. Flawless. Man, I'm, I'm real impressed with it. I don't know how this is going to travel on an airplane. I don't know if TSA is going to uh, balk at something like this in my, uh, in my, in my QRP box here. Uh, I would love to bring it, but it's an expensive little rig and I wouldn't want it to get, uh, wouldn't want it to get taken from me for any reason. That's it for me. I guess I could take some video of some, uh, of some girls in bikinis, but uh, I don't know. You guys don't seem to like that stuff, so I won't. I'll just play it pretty cool here. Guys, I'm Bob, K6 UDA, and I'm gonna go operate. 7-3. Remote system linked. Uh, so I'm gonna go operate and you guys go do whatever you're gonna go do. You know what, before you do, hit the subscribe button, keep these videos coming,